Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is chemistry. In this lesson, let's discuss this question. From 2017, GCE paper 2, this was question B7. Define the following terms. The first one, endothermic reaction. The second one, exothermic reaction. Then the B part says, give an example of each type of reaction in A, in nature. Endothermic reaction, one example. Exothermic reaction, one example. Then on the other side, we have described the effect of exothermic reactions in industries on the environment. We begin with the first part. Define the following terms. Endothermic reaction. What type of reaction is this? Well, when we say endo, we are talking about inside. Exo, outside. So, endothermic reaction, we simply say this is a reaction. This is a reaction in which we say in which heat energy is absorbed indoor it means heat energy is absorbed into the equation or into the reaction or into the system okay you can say into the system from where you can say from and then from the surrounding from the surrounding that is the correct answer Meaning, the opposite to endothermic will be exothermic reaction. So we're going to say exothermic reaction, this is a reaction, okay, in which heat energy, uh, energy is what? Is it? released okay or liberated you can use that word is released okay from its opposite now from the system from the system okay from the system to the to the surrounding to the surrounding that is the correct answer. Well, now we are told to give examples. One from endothermic reaction, one from exothermic reaction. Now remember the examples you are giving here must be in nature. This is the key word here, in nature. So the examples that you are going to get will be endothermic one will be photosynthesis that is a very good example in nature so i say photosynthesis that is in nature for exothermic reaction you can simply say um, respiration respiration these two are the good examples when it comes to um, endothermic, exothermic in nature. Okay? Then we have describe the effect of exothermic reactions in industries on the environment. Now, exothermic here, we are saying this is the chemical reaction in which heat energy is released or liberated from the system. Heat energy is from the system to the what? The environment. What do you think will be the effect? There will be an increase or rise in temperature, thereby leading to global warming. So you can say leads to global warming. Warming. You can say due to increase to increase in temperature 
due to increase in temperature. Remember, global warming is about rise or increase in temperature. So this will be the effect of this chemical reaction called exothermic reaction. Bye-bye.